Hi, this is Paul from Meet Coffee. I just wanted to do a quick unboxing and a quick review of the soon to be released J Max from Onesie Presso. I was really lucky to get one of these from Onesie Presso recently and I just wanted to do a very brief unboxing and talk a little bit about this soon to be released grinder. Okay, you obviously you get the, the cylinder case with this one, so you're going to get this kind of product carton and inside that obviously you've got your cylinder case just put this box aside right the cylinder case is the same one that you would get for the other ones you press all products um, with the zippers and the name on the side there inside you've got okay that's your grinder okay the thing that's slightly different about this case is you've now got a little flap at the top here that obviously when you close it and you've got the handle it doesn't scratch the actual product so that's a nice little inclusion that's really nice straight away um, the brush is also a little bit different um, it's got the name on as usual but on one side this is kind of it's a white brush and on the other side it's the softer normal black brush so they've kind of changed that a little bit from the usual kind of light brown horsehair on one side and then the softer softer brush on the other side so that's slightly different obviously with this one you get the standard ones you press old blower so that's really nice inclusion and you get an anti-slip ring which is really different to the other ones that you used to get the other ones used to be a little bit more thin and a different colour and these ones are kind of black in obviously in keeping with uh, the colour of the grinder itself so that's nice you've got the logo on one side you've got the name kind of around the, the ring there the handle obviously that tucks nicely into there and the grinder itself is in this side The grinder's got a, a catch cup on the bottom, a magnetic one, and it's a kind of a twist on. Kind of, you can twist it left or right, and it'll find its place with the magnets. So it's easy, kind of easy to take off, and it just kind of clicks into place like that. But as you can see, it's very nice, kind of got a good set of magnets, strong magnets in there. So when it's on, it's, it's safely on, and you don't really have to worry so much about you actually displacing the magnetic catch cup with your hands if you've got really big hands and i would advise you to just be careful because you know there's not a lot you can do about that but you know for everyday use it's it's pretty pretty safe and i don't see that kind of falling off and if you're careful anyway but you can see in there the burr set as well it's a 48 millimeter titanium coated burr set which is really ideal for espresso use so the microns for this grinder also is it's the smallest of all of the ones you press out grinders at 8.8 .8 microns and that's really super fine um excellent excellent for espresso for really dialing in i mean it's okay for other grind sizes for other gr brew types rather where you can really kind of adjust to get the best taste out of your coffee even it you know pour over or any other kind of brew type you can really finally adjust that taste to to get the nicest taste possible from your beans so that's a really nice nice set of burrs in there and that's the catch cup back on it goes on really easy and you can see by my hand even if you move it around a little bit it just it's not going to fall off it's quite quite safely on there so that's really nice the the handle grip is really nice also it's very reminiscent of the the k pro dark version a little bit different the way that the ones you press all name is going down instead of vertically left to right so that's kind of nice I, I really like that straight line and then you've got the little little j max name right there and then obviously you've got the other the kind of symbol there um the dial, the adjustment dial, there's nine numbers on this dial. 
and that's 90 clicks per rotation so it's really really fine um, inside the actual chamber I believe that this one holds between 35 to 40 grams of coffee so it's about five grams more than the the JX Pro um, also the burr shaft inside the way it's the way it's kind of got the, the the fixed shaft in there it seems to be a little bit more open than the k plus that seems to have another arm further down um i'm not really sure why but i think the good thing about that is it means you can obviously you can get more more beans in there so it's just a little bit more space and maybe that's the reason they've done that i'm not really sure um but that's what the, the grinder looks like without the handle on um it's nice it's really nice very nice color very sim similar to the k plus dark version but i feel a little bit the top is different the adjustment dial on the top doesn't have the red dot with the other dots around that so that's a little bit more minimal quite nice another thing with this grinder is i've noticed that the handle the actual handle here is a little bit longer than the jx pro and the jx as well and i think that's obviously it'll assist you with grinding obviously on the finer grind size um, it'll just give you a little bit more you know space to get a comfortable movement on that so that is a little bit better by probably about 10 millimeters it's it's significantly longer um, so that's kind of nice as well it'll just feel a little bit more comfortable when you're grinding so that's that's also a good inclusion and this is what the burrs look like like i said earlier these are 48 millimeter titanium coated burrs very very good very long lasting um, especially for espresso they're very very nice um, you can see that the actual burrs can be replaced at some point um, once you press once you press over looking into um, starting a burr replacement service so when that's something running obviously you can replace your burrs at some point but these are because they're titanium coated they should last you you know considerably longer than just a stainless steel pair of burrs or set of burrs rather um i've noticed also that some people used to get a little bit confused about the spring in this because it was tapered for some of the earlier versions so you weren't really sure when you dismantled your your burrs for cleaning which was the correct way to to actually put that back on so again this is just it's a standard shape so you just put it on and it's okay it's ready to go no confusion so it's just a little thing but worth pointing out i think but the burrs are really beautiful really nice nice set of burrs there and like i say should last you considerably longer than normal burrs okay this is the outer burrs and you can see from the underside where the magnets are um, that's the way it fits onto the bottom of the grinding the grinder's body um, you can see they're really really nice burrs um totally finished nice black all the way and from the inside you can see also what they look like there they're really nice nice solid set of outer burrs very nice so yeah that's that's what they look like another inclusion in this grinder is this it's kind of an indication of how open or how closed your burrs uh, sorry your adjustment dial is um obviously counterclockwise is to open and clockwise is to close so if you closing your burrs you'll see how that's going sort of down and covering those up and it's kind of a visual aid i suppose to just let you know you know where where your burrs are and where your adjustment dial is how open it is i suppose i don't think it serves any other purpose than just a visual aid to be honest but it's a nice little inclusion i know a couple of other brands of grinders have this kind of design as well but i just think it's nice it's something else just to give you an idea of where you are um but yeah that's, that's kind of nice as well if you take that off completely the adjustment ring the adjustment dial rather Okay, and you can see underneath those ribs, they, those are the things that's giving the, the clicks, the noises when you're adjusting. And again, that's kind of a, you know, an, another guide just to kind of give you a little bit more comfort in when you're grinding and it's not silent and 
there's a lot there because this has got a lot more adjustments but you can kind of see from that how much is there um, obviously on here you've got the bearings there there and there which again make the noise when you're when you're adjusting so that's what that looks like with the top ring off um, you can see inside there the bearing shaft is pretty open there's not really much you know either way either side of the bearing shaft where the the k pro i believe has got an extra arm but that's pretty open so obviously you can get a little bit more beans in there so that's nice that's what that looks like in there so that's pretty much dismantled the whole of the grinder and that's what the individual parts look like once Presso announced recently that they had discontinued the JE and the JE Plus and at the time I wasn't really sure why um, and then a little bit after that they they announced that they were going to release the J Max and that seemed like quite a long time ago now and and they they kind of didn't say anything for a while and then all of a sudden they kind of told me about it and said they were going to send me a sample co copy of the J Max and I'm really really grateful for that it's really it's it's a nice gesture and, and it's really it's nice that a company actually look after their dealers that way so just want to give you know once you press a little bit of credit for that that they really are forward-thinking company and I like that um, this again it's I think it's going to be the replacement um, for those two products in a good way it's it kind of covers everything but mostly it's it's for espresso i would say this it's definitely got that that bigger kind of grind range with those finer adjustments that is really better for espresso along with the titanium burrs so it, i think it's foremost an espresso grinder before anything else even though it's it's really good for any kind of any kind of brew type um so I did, I did speak to Onesie Presso and they do say that they're going to release another grinder later in the year, but I can't really say much about that right now because I don't have a lot of information, but that's something else that I will kind of talk about a later date when I get more information about that. So I'm kind of excited about that also. Um, so just to close off my video, that is the J Max and that's going to be released very, very soon. I'm waiting for Onesie Presso to kind of give me a, a, a definite date and just to let me know who the market is for this grinder, you know, if it's going to be Asian or if it's going to be international um, or both. But when I know that, I'll, I'll kind of update the information and let everybody know about that so they know what's going on. Um, and that's it, basically. That's just my, my short introduction or my short, my short video about the J Max. Um, if you like my video and, and you're happy to see content like this, please like the video. Um, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you feel like that. It would be really, really appreciated. And let me know that I'm, I'm making the right kind of content um, in the future. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching and have a great weekend. Stay safe and well.